Friends pair, huh? <laughs> Uh, hello, friends, and um, welcome to your suitably festive Friday One Show with Alex Jones and Chris Evans. Hi. And tonight we have a treat for you. Well, for me, actually. Yes. Like a lot of ladies, Alex <laughs> is very excited about tonight's guest. And like a lot of blokes that work on the show, I'm a teensy bit intimidated. <laughs> Bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. It's the star of 300 and P.S. I love you. It's Jared Butler. Here he is. Hi, Jared. How are you doing? That gets better every time. You like it? Oh, no, <laughs> I like it. Uh, so uh, we tweeted the fact you're going to be on the show and straight away we're getting loads of questions for you about that film, particularly 300, that particular clip there. You know, do you get sick of being asked to do all the shouts from 300 on shows like this? Um, be honest. Yes. OK, but well, we, 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 we won't but, ask you then in that case. But you know what's funny is when I did it, I, 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 the, I, we did it various different ways and the first couple of times it was madness, this is Sparta. Yeah. And then it was madness, this is Sparta. And then we finished and then I said, let me just try one more. And let me just try just for the hell of it. And I went, madness, this is Sparta! Yay! And you can't help yourself. And I know, but I turned around and, and all the rest of the crew were like this. <laughs> <laughs> and the director, I said, listen, that was ridiculous. And he went, yeah, it was ridiculous, but it was awesome. <laughs> so, so that's, and it became quite a famous line, I guess. He was that we, type we of guy. We have to apologise for our, um, our fluffy seats. They're, they're wrecking his trousers. Well, the sofas are melted, but they have been weaned, <laughs> so it's OK. Uh, now, another tweet that we got in. Um, to, uh, ask him why he stopped supporting St Mirren. To be honest, I didn't know you did support St Mirren. Have you stopped? Did you ever? I did support St Mirren when what, I was... What's happened? Um, well, I wasn't very well as a child. I, was, <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't all there in the head. No, my brother was a St Martin supporter. I was a St Martin supporter. They were my local team. But there was just something about Celtic. It was a very kind ah, of so a very powerful Celtic. sway, you know. And, and, um, and, and then one day I thought, you know, I want to be different from my brother. And I, and, I, and I jumped over there. Plus, my cousin used to go to all the games, so he would take me to all the Celtic I games. didn't know that. OK. Yeah. So you, you're, know, you're, you didn't know my cousin? You, no. no you, so you're in Rod's, Rod Stewart's gang, and you're with Billy Connolly, and you sit together, and you have a good time there. Uh, no, not really. I didn't know any of them. <laughs> I didn't know any of them at that point. I was eight years old. <laughs> All right, okay. Sorry, I thought it was a racist thing. I have no idea here. I'd say, hello, Ron. And you go, Peter, who are you? <laughs> Come on. Right, anyway. <laughs> um, speaking of football, we found this lovely picture of you and Bex from a few weeks ago. And it's the first time that we've seen Bex look more excited to be in the photo than the other person. <laughs> 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 Did he ask you for an autograph? Um, yeah, he, he did, actually. Did he? Yeah, he did. I, see, I run into him a lot, and he asks me for an autograph every time. It's, it's getting embarrassing. Um, no, I saw him last night, actually. We were in the same Hang restaurant. Hang on, what? Right? Where? What's that? Where did you see I'm him? I'm telling you. No. All right. oh. Don't tell her. We're keeping it a secret. But no, I went to the game, and I thought, hey, I was here. You might have won, but I turned up. <laughs> Give me a hold of that. I, I want to bask in your glory a little bit. I mean, it, it's funny because you went, you know, he, he, he won that tournament and you think, oh, well, they must just be having mass celebrations. And I go into the back room and he's been standing there for two hours just taking photos. No. Of everybody and their mother and their aunt and the person that they met when they were. So he was just kind of standing there and he said, come on in. So I, so I did a shot. But that's why people love him because he does all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because he what? Because he does all the things. Because he, kind of he's a, you know what? He's a sweetheart. Absolutely. He's a he's, good lad. He's a very good dude. All right. Oh, we like him even more. Yes, now. we do. Yes. Um, now, Jared grew up in Paisley near Glasgow. And Glasgow, what? Is one of the hottest locations to shoot a movie in right now. Yes, even when the movie is set in Edinburgh, here's Sarah Mack. Good film. Very clever, that, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. 200 million pounds as well for Glasgow. That's good news. Mm. Uh, Leith, you know about Leith? You used to live there. I lived there, yeah. I, t I trained as a lawyer in Edinburgh, and I lived down in Leith Walk, which is a, <laughs> which is a pretty kind of down and dirty area, but with great pubs, which is why, <laughs> why I never made it as a lawyer. <laughs> really? It's true. I heard that story about the fact you, you took a lot of Mondays off, didn't you? The Mondays, yeah, because of Sunday night in Leith pubs. Um, yeah, it, wasn't, it didn't serve me well, that, that place. It's funny, because yeah. just talking about it, as you talked about it, you slid down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I don't remember Lee. Uh, you, don't, you don't drink at all anymore, do you? I don't. That's it, don't. No, I haven't. And, and coincidentally, I've never been back to Leith 
<laughs> Are you so, going to Scotland for Christmas, though? I am going to Scotland for Christmas. Um, you know what I was thinking watching that? Because I actually worked with that director, Mark Forrester, who did World War Z. And, I mean, it's... A, you, <laughs> how many zombies did they need? Because if you want a bunch of zombies and you don't want to spend a lot of money in makeup, you go to Glasgow, right? There you They're go. They're all there. <laughs> you know, right. They're just kind of come Good out. evening, Glasgow and Leith. <laughs> You're very welcome to the one show, as always. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to talk about your new film. Yeah. Tell us what you're here for. We haven't no even mentioned it yet. No we? zombies in that, though. Come on, tell us about your new film. Playing for Keeps. Come, Come on. Come on. Oi, oi. <laughs> Silly, baby. Oi, it's, it's a phone call playing for Keeps. No, it's a, it's a, um, it's a comedy drama, and, and I made it with um, Jessica Biel and Uma Thurman and Catherine Zeta Jones and uh, Dennis Quaid. And I, I basically play a down in his luck former pro uh, football player. Who's kind of lost it all? Soccer you know, or yeah. football? Uh, soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Soccer. 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 Soccer player. <laughs> um, who you know, I played for Celtic. My choice, Liverpool. Yeah. And, and, and now I can. I don't really have much going on. And and I've gone back to the town to the, where my ex-wife lives, and to try and kind of patch things up with my boy. Who well, you're still in love with, basically. Who, yeah, and I'm still in love with my ex-wife. I end up coaching his his soccer team, the kids' soccer yeah. team, which I really don't want to do because it's very not cool. But I saw through that straight away. Oh, you did? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, because it's just all to get the ex-wife back. Oh, right, oh, okay. But also, she's sharp I thought you were saying that as in, I knew what was going <laughs> to happen. There is that as well. Let's, yeah. let's, it, let's see a little clip. Yeah. Let's see a little clip. Let's, let's explain it far better. Okay. Who's the new coach? Stacey's ex. You are a great, great player. Dreyer with a shot. And now for CSA Sports, I'm George Dreyer. This is your credit card company. If George Dreyer is no longer at this number, press 1. If George Dreyer is deceased, press 2. You ever think what it might have been like if I would screwed all up? All the time, I wondered. You were the most exciting thing that ever happened to me, George. You reckon you can handle this thing? Are you serious? Awesome! Awesome! Let's not tell your mom about this. Well, a big movie, as usual, from the man there. Yeah. And as you said, lots of... Great actresses in it. I know it's a pain. I've never been so covered We've in We've got a lint roller for you before you it's leave, very, don't it's worry. It's very noticeable on HD. <laughs> you can see it now. So yeah. There's some great actresses in the film, and you do get it on with most of them. I try. Um, <laughs> um, no, I, d I do, actually, yeah. I mean, that's what... I mean, that's where a, a lot of the humour comes in because this is a guy who's actually trying for once to be a father, to be a good man, to turn up in time for his son, to coach the team, to be there for his ex-wife. Meanwhile, everywhere he goes, he's being hunted down by... Oh, or single... It's a nightmare, nightmare. yeah. Nightmare. You know, single mums, hor horny housewives... You're getting a bit cooey over this one, to be honest. Um... What? This is awkward. She's getting a bit cooey over you. <laughs> I'm not, She's not Jeff, normally I'm like not. this. She normally doesn't care about no how handsome they are. Is it? What's he got that, that the others oh, haven't I'm got? I'm going to have to go to the <laughs> toilet or something and it's going to be all fun. Right, come on. How do you I'm going to have to go to the toilet in a minute. Do you know you have this effect on me? What's it like? What's it like? I don't, what's it like what? To, have, to know you have this effect on women. Well, it's boring because they always end up going off to the toilet. And I'm just sitting <laughs> like... I'm just left right. in my own. Can we imagine. go on now, please? <laughs> what to? Where would you like to go now? Huh? Just I don't know. Whatever's happening. Okay, next. let's talk about let's talk about another one. Very important <laughs> woman in your life. Your mum. She. You almost take her <laughs> everywhere with you. I mean, is that her choice? Is it your choice? <laughs> I don't take her everywhere with me, um, but she does come around a lot. I mean, yeah, listen, she's like my best buddy, you know, and I and I love hanging out with her. And you only have your mums around for so for so long, so. Um, so she always comes to set to visit. Although I had my premiere here and she was, um, she's like, I'm sorry, I'm too busy. She was off in Poland. She was actually visiting Auschwitz, which was, um, a, a, you know, a very nice thing to do. It just felt a little depressing instead of coming to your son's premiere, you know, so she missed that. Um, but yeah, she, no, she's, she's, a, she's a great woman. We're going to see her in a couple of days. What's that? Is she watching now, do you think? I don't know if you see this show in Poland. <laughs> Is she living in Poland? No, she's visiting oh, Poland. Oh, no, okay, she whiz. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You should have why would she move to Poland, for heaven's sake? She could have yeah, got all That's a very good stuff. point. Why would you move to Poland? <laughs> all right, well, you can... Or Auschwitz, for that matter. Uh, your eyes on Gerard in Playing for Keeps from New Year's Day. That's when the film's out, New Year's Day. Yes, okay. Now, we're going to Jay next, because we like a man who can plan ahead. And you Jay do, is already you? looking towards Boxing Day. Do you plan ahead? Uh, not really. Right, no. you're off the list. Jay's your man. <laughs> The smell of peril in the nicest possible way. 
Jay Carroll's here. Please, Cran, and tell us why she was better than the rest. Carol, I wanted to give you something of enormous value, <laughs> but instead it's the BBC, so we've given you something really cheap. Congratulations on winning. The reason. Uh, well, no, you get the plate as oh, well. Oh, the plate. Thank yeah, you. put the whole thing on. The reason is, you know, really Christmas really Day, happy. you eat yourself to death, you slip into the sofa, and you're like a dark stain on the sofa. You need something to wake yourself up. Yes, true. These wake you up. They're yes. bright and they're fresh and they're, they're a reason for eating turkey dive on in. Christmas dive in. Day. Yeah. You can't even eat because yeah. you've got a big plate. Do you want to take that off your lap for you? OK. You, you keep that in, I'll remove that. And then there's some sort of curry sauce. There's curry sauce. There, there are these pickled onion peppers Oh, is there curry in there? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm allergic to curry. I don't believe you. <laughs> 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 we did endless research interviews yeah. with you. That was a deal breaker when we booked you. You wouldn't have been on the show otherwise. He <laughs> doesn't need curry, he's not on the show. So, yeah. Talk about Christmas Day. Tell us about Christmas Day in your house because I bet it's fun, isn't it? It's a lot of fun. Um, I come from quite a large family and my dad's Jamaican, mum's English. So we have uh, both types of food, Jamaican food. And English. Um. And your dad cooks as well, doesn't he? He does, yeah. If we're having goat, uh, I send him into oh, the dip. kitchen to make the curry goat. Oh, I'll do the rice and peas. He does. Jonah, what do you make of that? It's not that good. She doesn't think much of your films either, mate. No. <laughs> have a little dip in the curry sauce. Does. No, it's really good. It's really tasty. Yeah, have a dip, yeah, have a dip it, in like, the curry sauce. Just put it in there. On. It's really nice. Okay, that curry sauce some... smells. Nobody's watching. Oh. It's fine. Yeah, yeah Madam Jeffrey, eat your heart out. Right, right, right. What are you going to be doing on Christmas Day? Always ask a question when someone's just come through. Wait for that moment that it's gone in and then ask. Go. I'm going to be. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a bunch of this. I eat as much food as I can, then I become that dark stain on the on the on the sofa. Yeah. Well, well, well done to Carol. Round of applause for Carol, everybody. A hey, free Christmas, Carol. There you go. Right now, for that let's continue the Christmas theme. Now, how do you get a present looking like this, boys? Pay attention. All right. Or this awkward to be wrapped teddy, right? Looking like that. This can be done, and Arona is here to tell us how. Absolutely, my pleasure to. Nice to see you, Rona. Thank you very You're much. You're going to help all the men out there now. I am, oh. and the ladies too. And the ladies. Now, yes, I'm going to, to show sexist. you my pouch technique, which yes. is so useful. I'm using this gorgeous paper that is handmade in India with recycled cotton. Right. Oh, it's pretty so paper. I'm bringing in the paper. I put the gift at the top end, I fold in the ends, mm -hmm. and then I fold forwards. Hang on a minute. Yes. Jared, so are you, you paying attention You're now? going to be doing this. I'm just tying my teddy bear up just to try and... Like, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Side. Right, now yeah. then, hang on, so, Arona, right. Yes. Gerard? Okay, yeah, right. okay, sorry. Okay, so I filled it. Would you like me to backspace? Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks. Now you have to pay absolute attention. You've got to crack on, get out. Now, take it there, fold it forwards. Yep. Don't crease the sides, even though okay. you're tempted to. Mm -hmm. Come along again, and then just to finish. Yes. You're going to take the paper, mm -hmm. fold it into a little triangle, and then a Again. These are the sneaky bits. And then a quirky so, little angle. I'm so lost of them. <laughs> Don't panic. Oh, it it's looks like a purse. handbag. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Purse. Then we can just crease back underneath that. Now, the lovely thing about this is mm -hmm. I'm going to secure it in place with okay. ribbon. Yes. So we oh. can tie it, and then you can give it to somebody who can open it Excellent. and pass it on. Right. Well, Arona, we're a bit tight for time. Can yeah. we come to the end sure. of the show? So we tie it with ribbon. Yes. These guys here are going to have a go now at wrapping their teddy bears. Lovely. You didn't do it. A la generation bear. game. Um, so, Gerard. Did mm. I keep my teddy bear tied like this? Yeah, you can do, but you better crack on now then. I tied, okay. I did the teddy bear over there. So right, Chris is doing well. You can have a little bit of sellotape. It's, it's like the generation thing, game, Arona, as well, is that yes. you don't use sellotape, of course. As we saw, you just fold the paper. So like, it can be recycled. Like exactly. Come on, Gerard. So, no, Gerard, okay. come on. Now you were watching. Oh, you? Right. No, not no. Really. Now you go like that. How's yours going? Well, I'm just going to sound copying too much in. here. Okay. Hold in the end like that. Yes. Some ribbon. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going ribbon. to hold it, and you're going to take it all. Um, Gerard, R R R have you got many presents to buy? Um, I try and have them pre-packed by a professional uh, packer. Pre-packed! <laughs> or my mum. That is pathetic. Oh, oh, look. Yours is brilliant. Whoa, look right. at this. That's We're doing well oh. here. Hold on, and then I do that funny thing. Yes, do your funny thing at the end. Like, like, like a purse. Nail this yes. out. We've Love nailed, we have nailed we this. We beat Hollywood. That is beautiful. I'm really impressed, wait Evans. Wait a minute. Oh, look at her. Well done. Isn't that great? Right. Gerard, I'm just wow. I've you've done. got competition This is how you here. do it. This means I've got to wrap some presents at home now this Christmas. Yes. No, no, mess it up. Hey, can I just... Uh, I think that's actually looking at That is actually OK. Well, Lorraine, you're a genius. Lorraine's getting books about me. Thank you, Lorraine. Proper, proper, big...
super tips on how to wrap Christmas presents. Yeah, Jared's movie as well. Playing for Keeps is out on New Year's Day, and I'll be back on Monday with Johnny Vegas. Have a lovely well, weekend. Well, hopefully our sofas will have stopped melting because they're playing <laughs> hate with my throat. Thank you, Gerard. Thank you. Well done.